eyes, impressive real-world range, luxurious appointments, generous cargo capacity. Moving the electrons around in the battery is a single motor driving the rear wheels that makes 329 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque. It's not nearly as quick as the 516 HP EQS 580, but it'll shove you into the massaging seats. After the initial thrust from a stop the acceleration tapers off, but 60 miles per hour is yours in 5.4 seconds. In more relaxed driving, the right now torque affords the EQS the same sort of effortless waftability that Rolls-Royce has been touting for decades. Mark Urbano Car and Driver View Photos Mark Urbano Car and Driver Yet what really reminds us of the spirit of ecstasy is the suppleness and silence of the suspension as it glides over the tarmac. Not much of the outside permeates the EQS's cocoon. The long 126.4-inch wheelbase certainly helps attenuate bumps, but it's the tuning of the standard air spring suspension that maintains the serenity despite our test car's 20-inch wheels wrapped in Goodyear summer rubber. Those sticky tires provide excellent grip. 0.90 g around it pad despite this car's 5530 pound curb weight press it hard into a corner and it remains flat and the low center of gravity born of the massive battery floor seemingly drills the car into the center of the earth steering efforts are light and don't pick up much even in sport mode but the easy efforts help mask the heft size of this s-class sized view photos mark urbano car and driver Four-wheel steering turns the rear wheels up to 10 degrees in opposition of the fronts at low speeds, helping to shrink the turning circle to 35.7 feet, making this very big Benz feel like an A-class. There's an ease and luxury to the whole driving experience that is only interrupted by the brakes. Hitting the brakes in the EQS starts with energy regeneration from the motors and then blends in the stopping power of the four massive brake rotors. Stepping into the brake pedal is an initially mushy experience that doesn't slow the car much. Keep pushing and you reach a hard point where the pedal resists being moved farther. Press harder and the deceleration finally hits, but it takes a lot of pedal pressure to get meaningful braking, and by then you're sailing toward that burgundy Corolla at an alarming rate. Give yourself considerably more space than the 167 feet it takes to stop from 70 miles per hour and 351 feet from using those unnatural feeling brakes can be largely avoided by pulling twice on the right paddle behind the steering wheel. Do so and you get the maximum regeneration, what Mercedes terms recuperation, that largely eliminates the need to touch the brake pedal and allows one to speed up and slow down in traffic by using only the accelerator. That Max Reagan mode won't bring the car to a complete stop though. The system slows the car to about 5 miles per hour, but Benz then continues to creep ahead. There is an additional Reagan mode called Intelligent Recuperation that requires you to hold the right paddle. It utilizes the adaptive cruise control radar and camera systems to optimize regeneration based on the surrounding traffic, the topography, and the twistiness of the road. When engaged, It'll bring the car to a stop provided the car in front of you is stopped. It certainly works, but it's not smart enough to bring the car to a halt at a stop sign or red light and will only react to whatever the vehicle ahead is doing. Mark Urbano Car and Driver View Photos Mark Urbano Car and Driver Aside from this being Mercedes's first car built on its new F platform, the other big news is the so-called hyperscreen. The EQS 450 Plus S optional hyperscreen, its standard on the EQS 580, consists of three screens that are covered in a massive glass panel that spans the width of the The three touch screens control nearly every function in the car, from setting an interior temperature to a game of Tetris. As a new system, it takes a bit of getting used to, but after a few hours of experimentation we became comfortable with scrolling through radio stations, looking up the outside air quality, setting a destination on the native navigation system, and pairing a phone to this. Once paired, we largely skip Benz's system for Apple CarPlay. There is also the option of talking to the EQS. Saying hey, Mercedes wakes the EQS's virtual assistant that can help with a number of controls, from setting the temperature to making a phone call. It works surprisingly well, but talking to your car always seems a little silly. Lowe's, polarizing design